girl Sharon Strong and today we're going to be having a very special guest on my channel. His name is Harry Sandhu and he is from Team Boss. For those of you associated with bodybuilding and fitness, definitely know about him. But for those of you who don't, Harry is an international coach and a personal trainer who has trained dozens of international athletes right from amateur to pro and uh, putting the best physiques on stage and uh, making sure that most of them take home first place. So I myself was coached by Harry for my bikini competition back in May and uh, hand down it was one of the most excellent experience and a learning curve in my journey. So let's move on and talk to him. Alright so moving on my next question uh, is again like somewhat of a uh, actually controversial topic but I want to know what your thoughts are on the natural, natural bodybuilder in the uh, untested um, bodybuilding world. Okay, uh, I want to do, uh, I mean, many uh, federations out there claim natural bodybuilding, uh, but they don't have, uh, they don't offer testing to ensure that. So my question is, is natural bodybuilding dead? Uh, because with very little chance of winning against uh, competitors who are on something, uh, is it, is it, uh, does it make sense to compete in an untested show? Uh, or is the truth is that you have to get on a cycle to be to have a fair chance of winning and competing yeah okay um look i think anyone who's getting into bodybuilding the true fan of bodybuilding the true fan, they get into the sport of bodybuilding natural bodybuilders especially they get into the sport to better themselves to yeah. see how good they can become personally okay. <clears throat> that is why they start competing you know I have guys who are natural bodybuilders, you know, people like Mukesh and um, Prince and all these guys, you know, they're known in India, you know, a lot of other guys who are natural competitors as well. Yeah. So they get into the sport for the passion and love of it. Now, the problem happens is, you know, when you're putting your heart and soul on it, you know, okay, you can do one competition, one year, two years, three years, okay, that's fine. However, losing is not fun, Right. And you, when you get up on stage and you see, you've see you seen a guy 12 months ago, he looked shit and he didn't even look like lifting a weight. Yeah. And then you were getting beaten by the same person. And when you've been training for 10 years to achieve the results you have, yeah. and the person who beats you up on stage who, who's barely been training for 12 months, and he had a gut, and sometimes even like 12 weeks or 16 weeks, depending on how heavy the cycle they do, how many steroids they use, yeah. it can become very demotivating. It can become very deflating. So... Mm -hmm. You know, it weighs you down, okay. you know, so then you go, you know, what? why am I doing it? And then the problem occurs is, do I take that plunge? Because I want to, I want to win. I want to be competitive and I can't be competitive if I'm going up against guys who are enhanced and nine out of 10 times, you're not going to be, unless you're a massive genetic freak, you're not going to be competitive up against guys who have got a massive advantage over you or by yeah. five, six, seven, eight hundred percent, sometimes thousand yeah. percent. So... That's one part of the answer. The second part is, look, federations running shows in a country like India, unfortunately, and saying yeah, this is a natural India, federation, right? yeah. and selling their, selling their shows as natural shows and not having any credible testing, yeah. like there's no uh, VADA representative or there is no NADA, which is a national anti-doping agency in India, not having okay. any of the representatives there. Uh, and then running and saying this is a natural show. It's like, you know, um, you even, I mean, I, I can't even think of an analogy. It's like you making cheating illegal in a way. So it's like yeah. you're in your, you're, you're showing people these, these attraction, hey, you win and you can go to the US to compete. Like, let's take Musclemania, for instance, you know, yeah. the prize that, I mean, like, look, you know, I, you know, I'm going to say it as it is, you know, that's yeah. the reality of it. Yes, exactly. You, 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 you take muscle mania for an effort as, as, as a competition, you know? So when, when you, the, the prize money is that, you know, the winner can go and compete overseas and there is no testing. You're actually not leaving any options for the competitors, but to jump on from an enhancing drugs. Yeah. So the problem is not the competitor. That's right. the problem is the organization. You know, so you're actually feeding them that, you know, hey, do it, do it. You're encouraging them. Yeah. So you can't blame somebody who's comes from a moderate family or an average family. Yes, it's I'm not promoting. It's very unethical. It's very immoral. It's completely wrong. 
But large part of the blame has got to go in on the organizers as well because you're actually encouraging that behavior. Yeah. You know, it's like when a child does something wrong, if you don't reprimand them, if you don't stop them from doing that behavior, you're actually in, you're cultivating that and you're making that behavior acceptable and normal. And that is what they're doing. A lot of people actually, they, when you keep doing it, it becomes normalized for them. A lot yeah. of people don't even know if NIR is a steroid or if they say, oh, I don't know, they didn't even realize. So if there is no testing, okay. You're actually encouraging it, and if there's a prize winner to go and compete in the U.S., all expenses paid. Hey, 99% will jump on steroids. So natural bodybuilding, until unless they can bring proper testing, which is proper testing is expensive. Yeah. And being so many competitions around now, like your Jirai Classic and your Fit Factory, you have this and you have that and your yeah. Fit Line and so many competitions. Running a natural show is virtually impossible until and unless you have. Uh, look, I have a very simple philosophy. If you, doesn't matter how lax the, the testing is in a show, if they have zero testing, and if they're saying this is a natural show, yeah. and you take steroids, you take one PED, you take one tablet of NMR, or you've done one cycle, doesn't matter you did the cycle three years ago, five years ago, whatever, you've done, you're not natural. You are getting up on stage, and you are built like a brick shit house. And you can bring a natural friend. And there's a guy out there who's busted his ass. He saved his money to be natural, do the right thing, get up on stage. You are doing you doing wrong by that person. To me, you're a loser, right? I took a stance last year. I put four guys in muscle mania. Every single one of my competitors was natural, right? Yeah. So I stopped. I don't put anyone in any fit. If, if it's a natural federation... I don't, so I stopped putting people in Muscle Mania India. I took a stand. I, I get so many requests, but I said, like, look, I'm not going to put you in a federation. You're going to go up against guys who are geared to the eyeballs. And even if you look like a competitor, you deserve to win, you're not going to win. Right. And that happened to my guy, Mukesh, last year, yeah. a year ago. Okay. He was a clear winner. He didn't even come in the top three. So, look, natural, fed, natural bodybuilding is a joke in, in a country yeah. like India. And it's... It's a debacle, you know, and there is no easy fix until and unless somebody is willing to, you know, invest, invest money, do yeah. it properly and at least test the top three and do it. And politics and immorality is rife, you know, so that's the problem. So right. to natural bodybuilding, it's kind of a shit out situation. Okay, anyways, yeah. thank you so much, Harry, for those insights. So hope you guys enjoyed that. To find more of Harry and follow his work, don't forget to like his Facebook page, Team Boss Bodybuilding. And if you're interested in personal training and online coaching, do follow him as well. That is all from me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't, your girl, stay strong.